those cases always happen that one runs out of USB ports on one's computer and then one actually is a bit stuck and especially if one wants to have USB Type-C uh, or more USB 3 then usually they, uh, if you have a little bit older computer then, then, then you don't have enough of it. But anyway, this a very easy solution to that and um, I thought I'd just um, dig into one of those solutions. So. So what I have here is a, um, a USB um, a host card. So you can you can buy different types of, of these cards. Um, and basically, what I did is I bought the card that has the configuration of ports and solutions that I I would need. But basically, you 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 can, and I mean the most interesting, you can get a combination of uh, USB ports of different types. Combined with a like, for example, M.2 um, slot, so that's really good. So I, I took this one. As I said, there are countless numbers available. If one searches for for them. This is a uh, PCI um, one um, card, so you put it in your computer, and then it has um, uh, three uh, USB 3 ports, Type A, type, and then it has two um, Type C connectors. And the great thing is that this has a SATA power connector, so you can actually bring in the power for those ports. Um, and then also it has this weird connector here that is many in in many cases is missing from motherboard. So this is your front panel USB-C uh, port um, uh, connector. <laughs> and, and in my case, my motherboard on my workstation hasn't got a place for this, even if I have a case that contains the the uh, USB-C Type-C connector in the in the front panel. So that's going to be great. So when I install this, I will be able to activate the uh, USB-C on the front panel, and due to the SATA connector, I can get the pa it will be powered, and then I will have one, two, three, four, five extra USB three ports. And this is based on like a standard controller, so I don't expect any Windows 10 driver issues. It should just pop up and work. So anyway, let's. Um, and as I said, that you can get these. Um, also with the uh, M.2, uh, like a drive slot, or even uh, you know a couple of them, or or with SATA on it. So there are lots of different configurations. But I can recommend these when you get into this issue: ports are running out, or you don't have a, or even if you don't, especially if, like for example, if you don't have an M.2 place on your motherboard and you want to start using M.2 drives, then you can just buy one of these cards with the M.2 and then possibly a configuration of USB ports and then you can just solve, you get more USB ports and the M.2 um, drive at the same time. So anyway, let's get this installed on the computer and see how it works. So anyway, uh, we're behind the computer now. possible light. Anyway, I got a bit confused about the USB generation 3.1 connector situation and um, let's see if I can explain in any, in any way possible. So it turns out that um, so here's my um, 011 dynamic instructions and then in here it shows that for the USB 3.1 I should have that connector but actually that's not true it was in the case I actually have a connector that looks like this oh, I hope you can see it this is called a uh, USB 3.1 
front panel connector, this one here. So anyway, the problem is that, or actually the issue is that now when I bought this card, I bought it with a front panel USB 3.0 front panel connector and it's actually this 20 pin. Uh, so I just bought it and I didn't think much about it. And it actually happens to be that I actually have two of those connectors already on the motherboard. So the only thing I remembered was that I, I couldn't get the front panel connect USB uh, 3.1 um, front panel connector connected because it's this one. Now, it turns out that there is a an adapter which can adapt this 20 pin to this one so that it can be connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magical video and, and get one of those. So uh, I will then show show how it works. But anyway, it's going to be connected on, I, I don't know, I'll either connect it to the motherboard or I will connect it to this. So I actually have to route this cable so that it comes to the front side. So that's why I'm working on the back side here. I need to route this so push it through so it goes on to the other side. And my other issue is that this one here needs power. So there, this other power. And um, to be able to get that onto the other side, I actually need to move my Sadly, need to move my um, serial out of drive that I have here with this um, power cable on, into the front side somehow. Um, so I will have to work fiddling on that because I need to put I need to move this to the front side so that I can get power into this cord. So the SATA drive and the power cable will move to the front side. And um, yeah, I'll come back when progress has been made. Okay, now we can start working on the front side. So we have the SATA cable moved to this side. We have the power for the SATA and for the cord moved to the front side. And now I've been checking this one. And to be able to get it connected to the motherboard, it needs to use this 20 pin connector down here with the adapter, which I'm, I don't have right now be coming. Uh, so I need to move this one over to the 20 pin adapter that's over here and that means that this fan is blocking that possibility so I have to take this fan and move it over here. No, no choice and this card. Thankfully there's one PCI1 slot hidden down here in the corner that it's very hard to film <laughs> to show. So um, and I'm not actually decided not to use that. 20 pin connector. So don't have a need for it since I already had 20 pin connector. So that was the issue I didn't remember that I actually was that I found this and then I had those 20 pin connectors. Yeah. So this is a USB 3.1 for the Type C connector. God, USB standards are just a nightmare. And I don't know why they call them standards because they keep on changing them all the time. I mean, the, the number of connectors that are so-called USB standards is just beyond comprehension. I wish they'd stop changing stuff all the time. Do you know how many USB cables I have and adapters? That's just like a sickening amount. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get this fiddled in, in here, with the um, power connected. And then I'm going to move the fan. And then I have to put the... Um, the SATA drive somehow s in now uh, and try and install. I might actually be able to install it on the on the bottom here where the fan is. There's actually one official location for a SATA drive here, and I think the other one was actually there. But we'll see. Maybe it'll be easier than I thought. Okay. Oh, anyway, I found them. These are the um, SSD brackets that came with the case. And can put the SSD in it, and then it slots into these holes down here. Except the fact that this has no, like, <laughs> somehow there's a hole in the case there, but it doesn't match up to when I put this in. Well, I suppose it's a minor, minor technical detail. Uh, let's see if we can get this. 
Pretty far away. I have to lift it up quite a bit to come up to that hole. It's like there. Oh, no, it's just about coming out of the slot. I think I'll just leave it, leave it in place and stuff. Yeah. So now for the cord. Already removed the cover. I was going to investigate how to put the power in. I think it might be still the best to, to connect in the SSD power first. Black against black. it had in the back. See it twists. Why do they have to have it that way around? You can see the cables come out that side. So then when it's inserted then, then you just don't have enough. So then it pushes down. I know you twist it quite a lot. Oh. Okay, I have to figure something out. So, that's the SSD moved and installed. Power connector connected to the card, which is hidden way behind here. And then I'm going, then I'm going to get the adapter so I can get the front panel. 3.1 USB to work. So that's the front side done, I think. So that's the card in place. Three ports, two ports. Let's see if I can get some more light on. Okay. Let's see it. So now it's to lift this up and boot it up and see if I get any USB ports. So, um, so, so at least since you see this video, um, actually the machine booted and seems to be working. So, but um, then the issue, I don't really have any issues, but I actually can't really find it here in the PCI to PCI bridge list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in this, um, basically a SD card reader and then see what pops up in the device list. Okay, that seems to be okay. Um, it's actually this um uh, what's it called? See you see the sand disk is connected here, so it's actually called called this Fresco Logic USB 3.0 extensible host control. So I, I plugged it into one of the USB 3.0 um, Type A um, connectors. Now I'm going to move it to a USB C type connector because it has both, and then um, see what happens. Okay, that's um, a bit not so good. 
And with the sound disk, when I plug it into the USB-C connector directly, then the disk drive appears for a little while, like 15, 20 seconds, and then it vanishes. The whole device just disappears from the list. And I've done this test now several times. So I don't know if it's uh, is the problem in the sand disk or is it the actual USB-C um, connector. So I'm gonna have to probably come back with a report in the comments as to um, how, when I've been able. I don't really actually have any. The only disk drive I have is that one, and um, I don't have really that much devices right now with Type C. Yeah, so a mystery at least with the disk drive. Um, so, but the um, uh, USB 3.0 Type A connectors they seem to work fine. So, um, yep. So the next thing is to get the ad adapter and get the main board to 3.1 front front panel connector working. That will be our next phase. Okay, well, I think we have to call that a wrap. Anyway, made myself a cup of tea and now I'm thinking about it. Ah, uh, the USB C ports on the card aren't working as intended, but um, I'm it's not really economical to return the card. And anyway, for my purposes, I have those adapters so I can actually connect the stuff in that I need to connect in for now. So. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I don't think this is for a gen general example of this kind of of this card. So maybe I just got a. It could be the card, or it could be something in the PC. Um, I'll leave in the comments if I find out what's wrong with it, or if I buy a new one and replace it. So. Anyway, if you um, thought this um, video entertaining, consider subscribing, and um, you know, hit the bell icon to get notified of more. Uh, hopefully more successful installations and tell other people I mean these are very viable cards and, and there's lots of different variants so I, I wouldn't just get disparaged just because of this specific examples so um, yeah you know, buy a card if you need it, install it and uh, it'll probably go better than what I showed and then um, I'll see you in the next one